Hello YouTube and welcome back to South Africa. This is the video I promised. And here we can see I installed the super capacitor pack I built. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at my other video and uh, you'll understand. I uh, sealed up the box with some zip ties and stuck it in my car. It's a 1.5 litre 16 cylinder Daewoo. Don't laugh, it's my car. It's all I have. And it, does, it works well. All right, now, let's go see if it starts. Okay. Okay. Fuel pump primes, and it starts. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect! Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I knew it was going to start because I already started it. But the first video had a few too many profanities, so I decided to refilm it. I might put up the, the first video if anybody wants me to. But uh, yes, it, it actually works very well. It, it might actually start better than uh, with the battery, which is quite surprising. Uh, another note that you might want to know, it's, it's a very old car, it's got 350,000 kilometers, which is in, in American is about half that in miles. So it's an old car and it does have a bit of trouble starting, it doesn't start on the first crank. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I, I would like to be able to measure the cranking current, but I don't have the appropriate uh, meter to measure that. Uh, I need an inductive DC clamp current meter and I, just, I don't have one, I'll, I'm looking. So uh, I'd like to know if, if it actually asks, the, well, if it uses more than 200 amps at any point, which would be more than the safe limit for the supercapacitor pack to handle. Basically from the work, the reading I've done, the pack should be good for 200 amps for one second reliably it won't damage it you couldn't do it every couple of seconds but it won't damage it in the long run short circuited the pack could do about a thousand amps apparently for one second without suffering any damage although that wouldn't be recommended in a repeated use situation so yes thank you very much for watching this little video and i apologize for the wiggliness but i can't put the, my camera on a tripod so Apologies for that and thank you for everyone who subscribed, liked and uh, generally viewed my channel. It's a great encouragement and uh, if you have any questions I'd be glad to answer them, super capacitor related or electronics related, although I'm not very good at all that stuff but I can always try answer and if you have any questions, I don't know, South Africa related, feel free to ask. Thank you very much, cheers!